What up, this is July from Kickback Couture. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a bell in Europa. You can do this with the rack extension. Of course, you can do this with the VST, or you can do it online on the Europa webpage. So let's go ahead and first, I have programmed a pattern so that I don't have to constantly press my keys. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to the amp envelope, and I'm going to bring down the sustain. Then I'm going to bring down the decay so we get more of a bell shape. Bring up the release a little bit. And now I can play with the oscillator type. You can even change it. Sample and hold noise. That sounds pretty cool. Gonna add a second oscillator and I like the sound of this. Cool. Going back to the first oscillator, I want to add a low pass filter so I'm gonna use the spectral filter here and actually I think what I'll end up doing is using this filter here as a low pass and using this as a high filter so I'm gonna turn this on first change this to high pass so I don't get too many lows on it and I want my second sound engine to run through this low pass filter as well. Edit the volume. And let's go ahead and add some unison. It's going to make it wider if we want to. We can go an octave down as well. So let's listen to this one by itself. Turn up the voice count. Could detune it some more. Spread it more. Gonna keep it on normal. And then add the second oscillator in. Unison. Make it bigger. Cool, and we can even play with the third engine if we want, but in this particular video, I will not do that. Now, the fun part comes with modulation and effects. So, I want to route... Let's go ahead and route LFO1 to engine 1 pitch as well as the engine 2 pitch and let's turn this up see what we're getting and what's going on so I'm gonna go drastic Sounds pretty good. Turning on my headphones. Let's do one at a time. Keep it at about four and add in this one. That's good. Cool. And let's go ahead and add some effects. Let's drag the reverb at the beginning of the chain. I'm gonna turn it on. Turn down the amount. Turn down the decay. Turn up the damp.
bring down the size a bit. Keep it all the way up like that. And I want to add a low sound to this, so I'm actually going to turn on engine 3. Run this through the filter. Let's see what I can get out of the game wave. And let's add some distortion. Gonna add a low pass filter to the third engine. And now we have a nice big sound. The next thing I want to do is modulate the panning. So in order to do that, just gonna come to let's we can do it with an envelope since there are preset patterns for the envelope. So we'll go ahead and use envelope one here. And Mixer engine one pan as well as mixer engine two pan. And then I'm gonna change this to envelope one as well. Envelope mixer three pan engine. So cool. Now let's turn this up. Listen to what's happening. And let's get it on beat sync. I think I may actually prefer doing this with an, an LFO. So rather than do that, I'm going to change to LFO one and leave that how it is. Actually, LFO2 would be better since I'm using one for the rhythm. The, yeah, I'm using one for the pitch, sorry. All right, beat sync. That's a lot better. Turn this up. Turn this up. Actually, I'm gonna turn this one negative so that it goes the opposite direction of the other sounds. So. Now we have a bell. And we can play with the attack to make it more plucky. And you can even make a completely different sound if you don't want a bell. So we've made a bell pluck type of sound. So as you can see, there's a million different things you can do to come up with a pluck. And I mixed up my words here and there just because I was so into designing the sound and trying to talk at the same time. Sometimes it's difficult. So if you like this, then let me know in the comments and I'll continue to do more sound design videos and tutorials with Europa specifically. And I'll get into some grain videos as well. If you liked these backdrops I am they are available on my website and the link is down in the, the description once you click on the link in the description you will go to the, my, my website and you'll either get this picture or this picture depending on which one you click on and each of the individual 
types of backdrops are listed in the description on the website so you can pick which ones you want if you like this video give it a like comment subscribe most definitely let me know what you would like to see next happy friday i'm gonna go back to watching tasmanian devil because that's my favorite so yeah it's all culture kick back and cook up